In some of the electrical panel, you must have seen that in the contactor present there, some technical fault arises and it does not work. In this condition, we have to check the contactor. So how this same contactor can be checked through multimeter is going to be discussed through this video. So friends, let's start the video. Three type of faults can arise in these contactors. First fault arises in contactor that you may observe is contactor does not start. In this condition, you have to look at the coil of contactor. Terminals of coil is A1 and A2. In these coil terminals, if the voltage is not proper, then in this condition your contactor won't work or won't start. So first you have to check here that proper voltage is available or not. But before checking this, you have to look at the operating voltage of contactor. For operating voltage, you can look into the data plate here. You can see here it is written 220 volt slash 230 volt. So to operate this contactor, we need to provide voltage up to 230 volt. In these two terminals of contactor, if proper voltage is present, then in this condition, in the coil of the contactor, you have to check the resistance of coil. How to check this, let's understand. What you have to do is, select your multimeter to the resistance position. Now take the probes of the multimeter and connect with the coil terminals of contactor. So at the A1 and A2 terminals, I am connecting the probes of the multimeter. After connecting probes, you can see here, multimeter is displaying some value. For now, you can see here, the value is 0.668 kilo ohm. Look carefully, it is written kilo ohm. And you can see a point is also there. This means 668 ohm is the resistance you are getting. The resistance which you are getting is proper or not, if you wanna check this, then you have to look for same type of contactor and you have to measure the resistance of this contactor. Let's measure the resistance of coil for this contactor also. You must get similar resistance. Like here we are getting 650 ohm resistance. Means the value of resistance for both the contactors is approximately same. We can say that this contactor or this contactor in both the contactors the resistance of the coil is proper. Means coil is proper. If the resistance displayed here is OL or 1 then we conclude that the coil of the contactor is faulty. Here OL means the coil of the contactor is open. The winding present in the coil is open from somewhere and continuity got break. If the resistance of the coil of contactor is displayed as 1 or 0 0 then you can conclude that there is a short circuit in the coil of contactor. Apart from these values you may get value of resistance very low or very high. In both the conditions, you can say that your coil of contactor is faulty now. So here, if this contactor does not start, we measure the resistance of coil. Now if the contactor is not generating the output power supply, then in this condition, you have to check the power terminal. To check this, what you have to do simply is select your multimeter to the continuity position. To select continuity position, press function button. Now when connect both the probes, you can hear the sound of continuity. Now what you have to do is, at the power terminal of this contactor, power terminal means through which high current can flow. Like in this contactor, 135246. These all terminal numbers are power terminals. Power terminals are also shown by L1, L2, L3 or T1, T2, T3. So these all terminals are power terminals. So let's first check power terminal. For this, connect both the probes of multimeter with the power terminals. After connecting, if we press this, means if we change the contact, then you must get continuity here. When I press this, you can hear the sound of continuity. You can say that power supply from L1 will go to L2 when contactor is on. Similarly, you have to check the other terminals also. Ok, for this contactor, all the power terminals are ok. We are done with continuity testing here. If we didn't get the continuity here, then in this condition, we can say in this contactor, the contact of the contactor is not proper. And because of this, we are not getting output power supply. After this, if there is a problem in controlling of contactor, then in this condition, you have to check the auxiliary contact of contactor. For checking auxiliary contact, you have to select the continuity position only of multimeter. After this selection, you have to look at this contact. Where is the NO contact and where is the NC contact? 
Like in this contactor, above these two terminals are NO and below two terminals are NC. So let's first learn to check NO. NO contact is normally open. This means this won't let power supply to flow. The power supply at this point will not go to this point until your contactor is on. For checking this, connect both the probes of multimeter to these points or NO contact. Now by pressing the plunger of contactor, we can check we are not getting continuity but resistance is changing. You can see probes are not connected properly so this is happening. Yes, now you can see we are getting continuity. This means our NO contact is proper. Similarly, we will check the NC contact. NC contact always let the power to flow continuously. It means if we connect the probes of multimeter with the NC contact, you will hear the sound of continuity directly. Means resistance must be very low. Here I connected probes with NC contact, you can hear the sound of multimeter. If I operate this contactor, you can see continuity is lost. On releasing this, continuity is there. If I press again, continuity is lost. This means our NC contact is absolutely proper. If there are no changes in continuity, even when you press this, then you can say that NC contact has some fault. Means contact is not proper. So to check any contactor, first check the resistance of the coil, then check power terminals and finally check the auxiliary contact. Apart from this, if any harming sound occurs in your contactor, then in this condition, what you can do to prevent it is going to be discussed in my upcoming videos. Friends, I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching this video.